All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon, and in this video, we are going to be talking about that juice. As people are crying foul because of statements that were made by YouTube channels, YouTube content creators about the suspicion around Victor Conti and Devin Haney and some things that Bill Haney said about why he hired Victor Conti, certain uh, patterns of weight gain and weight loss around Devin Haney. So YouTube content creators that are big supporters of Devin Haney drag Jerron Ennis and Terrence Bud Crawford into the conversation and say, hey, if you're going to suspect Devin Haney because Devin is with Snack and Victor Conti, then why not suspect Jerron Ennis, who was with Snack, and Terrence Crawford, who was with Snack? Seeing as I was have been very, very clear about my belief about fighters fighting Victor Conti fighters with Vada, thought that it was important to clarify my point of view because I believe some of that stuff was aimed at me. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. I have a professor, an old professor from college, profess, uh, political science professor that would say before every class, every lecture you gave, that the A is in the details and the details are me. <laughs> There's an also another saying that the devil is in the details and it is the importance and both of these communications, both of these messages communicate the necessity to make distinctions subtle distinctions in your understanding of things, small points that make a big, big difference. So with that, we begin the conversation of this comparison between Devin Haney and the criticism Devin Haney has gotten after Bill Haney himself said that the reason that he started working with the notorious ex-steroid dealer, current uh, owner of Snack, and apparently close confidant of the voluntary anti-doping agency and co-creator of it, Victor Conti. Um, there has been pushback because of criticism that has fallen, right? And it has fallen on people that have said, hey, if I was fighting somebody like Devin Haney, I would not have Vada testing for a fight with Devin Haney. And the reason that I would not do that is because I believe that Victor Conti is too close to Vada. Also, you have people like Ryan Garcia that said, hey, if you're going to suspect me because I pop dirty, what about Devin? And the fact that Devin is losing 30 to 40 pounds in a short amount of time, he is then making weight and then he is blowing up 25 pounds. And he then with that rapid amount of weight loss and weight gain, he can still get into a boxing ring and fight competitively for 12 rounds and not have a problem. Those symptoms, those particular things make me worry that along with Victor Conti make me worry that he's doing something funny. OK, now I am not one to say that I believe Devin Haney is using anything because I do believe that you need to be, you need to at very least pop dirty for something before people start making explicit accusations about you. And now I must complete that, that you have to go through the process of discovering 
uh, of defending yourself from the presumption that you cheated if you do pop dirty. Fair for Alyssa Bumgardner, fair for Devin Haney. I mean, for Ryan Garcia, it's fair for Devin Haney. Devin Haney has not had either one of those scenarios, and neither has Jerron Ennis or Terrence Crawford. However, when we talk about the worries around it and comparisons being made specifically between Devin Haney and Jerron Ennis and Terrence Crawford, again, the A is in the details. As it relates to Jerron Ennis, yes, Jerron Ennis has you see pictures of Jerron Ennis with snack shirts on. But that does not mean that Jerron Ennis is is with Victor Conti in the same capacity that Devin Haney is with Victor Conti because they are not. According to Bozy Ennis, according to statements made by Jerron Ennis, they only have a sponsorship from Victor Conti which means Victor Conti writes them a check and sends them a a T-shirt and some supplements and says, put it on and I'll pay you the money for being in the ring with snack on your on your on your shirt. That's the sponsorship. That is not the same thing as having Victor Conti be the head of your nutrition Having Victor Conti being the person that is providing you with specifically providing you with supplements, helping you gain the weight, helping you lose the weight. That particular consultation, uh, nutrition consultation is not part of the deal with Jerron Ennis and Jerron Ennis also did not work out in the gym that Victor Conti has It's either in either in Las Vegas or California. He does not work or he has the Bay Area. He does not work out in the gym with Victor Conti. So those are apples and oranges comparisons. Also, if you look at Terrence, if you look at Terrence Crawford, that there's people that have said that Terrence Crawford is on juice because he was with Victor Conti. However, there has not really been that I've seen. Tremendous evidence of him gaining a ton of weight, losing a ton of weight and gaining a ton of weight back have not necessarily seen that. However, I will say as it goes with Terrence Crawford, if Terrence Crawford has hired Victor Conti in the same capacity for the same reasons that Devin Haney has, it would not be unreasonable for somebody to say, hey, man, what's going on with that? Because and it is not necess- it is not based off anything Terrence Crawford said, because Terrence Crawford has not said, hey, I hired him to know how, how to learn how to cheat, because that's what Bill Haney said. We learned we hired him to know how to come on, come off, cy- how fighters cycle on, how fight fighters cycle off, how they beat the tests. That's what Bill Haney said. That is knowing how asking Victor Conti specific questions about how to cheat tests. Now, you may say that you're asking him that for so that you can know that other people are are cheating the test. But that doesn't make much sense because you don't have the power to actually catch anybody. That would be Vada. That would be USADA. That would you be Wada. Wada. So why do you need to know the information? That to me just doesn't doesn't make sense. But regardless I don't think that it is wrong for anybody to second guess Victor Conti after Victor Conti has said what Victor Conti has said. Victor Conti said that he helped establish VADA. Victor Conti has said that he, in in previous court cases, when he was convicted for this, my understanding is he said the way that I got over on it was that I was able to do it is because I had inside sources that would let me know the, te- the schedule of the testing. So now he has a relationship with Vada and Vada. All they pretty much do is schedule tests. So why would anybody doubt that he may still be doing it and see people with these tremendous gains um, and tremendous weight gains and tremendous weight losses then blow right back up and it's still in purpose condition and people are moving up four or five weight, moving up three, four weight classes and turning in to start and then eventually start looking like mutant ninja turtles in the back. 
Come on, man. That's not unreasonable for people to suspect it. Now, I am a definitely a fan of or a, a understand that you can suspect whatever you want as long as you're not saying that that's what the case is. And to me, neither Devin Haney nor Taren, nor Terrence Crawford have popped dirty. Neither one, and if they have popped dirty, which they haven't, they hadn't gone through their process to see if it was a mistake on somebody else's part, which is something everybody deserves. But anyway, I just thought that I would, you know, go through that real fast so people understand of the viewpoint that I think is a very balanced viewpoint. You can't sit out here and say that 80%, 85%, 95% of boxers are on juice. And you know, 90% of boxers ain't getting busted for it, that there's a lot of people that are getting over on it. And if there's a lot of people getting over on it, it's because there are people that know how to get over on it and are getting over on it. So then you see somebody working with somebody, you know, knows how to get over on it, has gotten people over on it, brags about being able to get over on it. And they have the same character, physical characteristics of people that are getting over on it. It's not unreasonable to think maybe they're getting over on them. That they're getting over on a test. It's not it's not unreasonable at all. Unfortunately, you know, we can't see and read into the minds of people to know for sure what's going on. And the process has to play out. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. Please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.